gives on the delay to Abanacanda. He'll score standing up. Been like Abanacanda in that what the coaches raved about was his consistency. He put his head down. Absolutely. <laughs> Here's second down. And this is Abanacanda. Much like some guys talk about the way their offense does those same type things. And the Pan Pittsburgh 4 of 6 on third down today. Abanacanda again fights back upfield. He'll have the first down. Gets toward the Panthers 40 yard. It had to do with COVID for him. It had to do with the fact that he wants to take care of his family and a lot of these other NFL guys. Points on the board. That obviously makes it tougher, but, but so does the fact that your defense has played well and Louisville is just not going to have a ton of shots. That's so little to be thankful for. We've all got a lot to be thankful for. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't say that. On the. Sorry. Not going to run a play with three receivers in boundary, or they do. Quick pass. Trying to get it to Izzy. They do. 10 5. The running back from Brooklyn School. Boston College plays with two linebackers and a nickel back, and it looks as like Isaiah McDuffie was motioning over to try to cover. Five to go. The Panthers, who've won three of the last four in this series. And a big hit there is a panic. Hold up today. Yeah. Especially after Travis threw a knockout punch on the. 88-yard touchdown. They'll take away four for six on touchdowns. That was an area that they really needed to improve this year. Abana Kanda, touchdown. Yes, you're exactly right. Get a puller coming around. Look at that was Owen Drexel again. The left side. Pulls again and passing Dan Marino on the passing chart at Pitt. Hands it off here, and it's a first down run for Abana. Delayed handoff. And Small tripped up by a defender who was on. Can he pick it? On third down and six, delayed blitz. Pickett's pass is caught by Abanacanda for a first down inside the 35. The 215 since enrolling. Give it to him again between the tackles. Keeps the feet driving down. Abanacanda off the left side. And he's hit, but he kept his foot. Move here to make sure that he wasn't. Really good awareness by Abana Kanda. See Banks come in, but he never goes down. Hand on the ground, shin, knee, never touch. Taking that play clock down as well to one. Abana Kanda with some room inside the 40 and close to it. This is ends the game. Abana Kanda slips a tackle, got the first down. And there's Addison in motion to the right on the ground. Nice job of waiting for the hole, and Izzy will take it into the end zone. Oh, that. I love it. You look at this pit offensive line. You got pullers, and he's able to wiggle in there and get behind his blockers, and then he just uses his speed to get to that. Passes on this field last Saturday. Pickett dumps it short. Right near the sticks. Field, it has been an explosive day for this pit offense to say the least they're on pace for 700 you played on some really good football teams what would it be like to play in an offense like this everybody touches the ball everybody gets Abana Kanda again has the first down to the 20 yard line third and long this is Jordan Addison time they throw it short instead breaking free Abacanda down inside the 10 out of Nick Patty Eddie Coach said he's a big, strong kid. He's a very good runner. Other than Kenny Pickett, he's for deep shots, and we'll see if uh, that continues to happen. Strong run. He pops it on the right side. Flag thrown, and I believe Patty hands it off again. Havana Kanda struggles his way down to the. Havana Kanda. Bouncing off a tackler two inside the 10. Oh, Kyle Kennard over there trying to hold the point. Here's a Banacanda again trying to follow his blocks inside the five and into the end zone for the Panther touch. My Georgia Tech math tells me 36 total, now 28 here today. Throw in the flat. A Banacanda breaks through one time. Taste your max getting a lot of one on one coverage. Here's a Banacanda right side for a couple of yards. You got to dictate if you're the if you're the defense whether you're going to double Addison or go one on one to the backside. A Banacanda score standing. Look at the blocking on that right side of the pit. 
defense. And Lucas Kroll with his arm around. Abana Candace check back in after Hammond was shaken up and Izzy cuts around the edge here on the left and sets sail. Stepped out of bounds. And hopes are still there. But, I mean, every game becomes that much more important. To run and get hit before he settles himself in. Here's Izzy Abanacanda on the run. Drive after they stop hit. Tenth play of the drive. Abanacanda cuts it inside. And you just you kind of panic a little bit to get yourself open. Abanacanda on the run. Wow. And he weaves his way to a first down. Picking his way. Yeah, unbalanced line to the right side. And they'll bring in a sixth offensive line when, uh, with, with all the hype that comes with playing the position. Vanacanda showing the speed to the outside. Got a running game going. Vanacanda. First down and then some. Still going through the car wash. Three timeouts each. Vanacanda gets the outside again. Looks toward the defense. He had 404 yards against Virginia Tech last year. A run the counter again. Vanacanda gets to the outside and skates to about the conversation with him. Well, I think he's a football junkie, as you see this nice run by Pitt. You know, he was coached by his father, Ken, who was a line. First down and a run for Pitt, and it's Abana Kanda whirling to the 30. Of his uh, Pitt career. Abana Kanda again, keeping his feet somehow, just like a strip the football rather than tackle the runner with it. Oh, he's fast, but just the patience he shows. And we, we call the player at the line of scrimmage and go with it. That, that's a trust that is... Uh, the, the current look so much, and I agree, it's uh, very classy. Abana Kanda has had a tremendous day for... Had an angle on him, but that's the 11th run of this current drive. 12 plays in the drive. They've a 31 to nothing lead after the first quarter. High snap. Pickett got it down. Gave it to Israel in the first quarter. Didn't score in the fourth quarter of Virginia Tech, but they were nursing a big lead. They really were just trying to run out the clock. Here's their biggest play. Hard run. Very patient runner. I mean, he's got great speed, but he still has patience to wait behind the blocks and, and make people miss. Their field goal kicking is a question mark. They've only tried four all year. Abana Kanda, first down. Second and 26. Israel Abana Kanda gets them back into field goal. In the backfield. Gives it to him, and he finishes it off. Just like that, line it up again. Watch the push up the middle. You see Carter Warren, number 77, get great push off that left side. Fit that really well. Third and five, they're going to go with the Banacanda, and he'll pick up the first down inside the 20. Pit in the run game before this one. A good job pulling around. Watch number 53 lead the way. Get up on where they get their most production running the football. Banacan out of the backfield, inside the 10, he'll score! It's number 17, Wayman Sneed, you see him on the right side, it's a little pass off. When the tight end goes under, he's got to react out to the running back really late. And then the college career he had, it's just you don't think of receivers finishing high in the Heisman. This kid might win a Heisman someday. Israel, a bad inside the 20 to the 15. Front. Excellent blocking up front, opening up a big hole, and then a Banacanda is a big, strong running back. Has a really good idea what Duke's going to do. Here goes a Banacanda trying to make a man miss, does, and will fight towards the 10. Pistol. And Israel's going to get the first carry, a little full back to the narrow side, and a Banacanda up to midfield before he's finally shoved. To the weak side of the play and then out and running Jeremiah Lewis to the corner. Big fella scooting. Yep. And Duke toward the bottom of the shelf. And it's a five-point lead for David Cutcliffe's team. And Pickett throwing to a Banacanda who breaks away. First down on the missed tackle. Out to the 45. They trail five here in period two. Kenny gonna flip it to a Banacanda near side. A little shake and bake. Gets him to the midfield line and into Duke territory. A little wildcat here with a Banacanda. And 
is. He picks out a spot. And... Yeah, they, they definitely are, and they're exciting. And, and look, Taylor referenced the fact that I've got Sean Tucker on my list. I, I think Sean Tucker's in the running for the guy who's been Walk protecting Kenny Pickett and giving him time. So second and seven. That's a bad Akanda bouncing outside, and a good run for a bad. Certainly do, but watch the edge. Jordan Addison, who's 175 pounds. How about that block on Cameron Kelly? To get Jordan, help me out here. Yeah, you catch him for the quarterback, catch him for me. <laughs> That's a bad Akanda on second. That's a bad Akanda right up the middle. That's actually a good holding penalty by Cameron Kelly, so it would have been a touchdown otherwise. Good cut out of Abana Kanda. Just over knocks it down. That's when the offense becomes the defense. Abana Kanda up the middle. That's third and three. North Carolina one timeout. Pick it to throw. Has time. Over the middle. Caught a first. Third and ten. Pick it with time over the middle. It's caught. Records including points scored and total offense. And Izzy will. So Jared may have even a bigger impact here this afternoon. Of Anaconda. Down to the. All out blitz coming. Out of the backfield for a first down across the four. Oh, and they're just on the edge, right? The, the number five ranked team in the latest college football playoff rankings. There'll be a big Utah fans today. Try to knock off the Oregon Ducks. Prime time on ABC. About a Kanda inside the 10, and he'll take it the distance. All this is is just middle return left. You got to start in the middle, and you let the first initial tackle you make him miss. Then you get to the outside, and you just turn on the speed. And Beth, I thought you were going to go Izzy. Top 25, you have 10 bowl eligible teams. How would you characterize the season? Exciting and successful. When you look at the success of the ACC. Pickett hands it off to Abenakanda. Got those shoulders north-south, squared them up. And pick Addison split to the bottom of your screen, but they hand it off. Abenakanda tripped up. Nice tackle. Panthers driving. They're going to run it. Abenakanda. Great move, touchdown Pittsburgh! Run, Izzy Abanakanda sees the backside cut, knows he's got the speed to make it, makes a guy miss, and then he's just hitting the line. Touchdown on the last drive, in the backfield, gets the call. Lunging in for the score! Both, both of their best players have dropped past. Can't continue that if they want to run. They run it here, this is Abanakanda. Push out of bounds around the 30. Going after the catch guy. Patty hands it off to Abanakanda out to the at last run. Lucas Crow in motion. They come across the formation. Abanakanda into the boundary and a nice run. So second and 13. Abanakanda on the ground. Cuts it back to the middle of the field. Right where he left off. Across the middle is Slovis. That's Abanakanda. Makes a man miss. There goes Izzy. Izzy! Run him. Run after the catch is key, right? You see a Banacanda just run the halfback option route coming out of the backfield. You see he makes defenders miss. Now watch, watch Marcus Floyd here. You can't stop on the I promise you the coaches on the West Virginia sideline are going to be livid when they get over there and start really trying to correct the mistakes that were made on that play. Tony Dorsett, as we saw, looks like he could still play. Huge haul. Israel Gets a key block there, and then the speed takes him to the end zone. Last week, Pitt was disappointed with the way that Ryan played, disappointed with how they ran the football. This can correct a lot of problems with a play like this. Sean, remember last year in Knoxville, it was Tennessee that jumped. Got a 16-year run there, and then came back here to Pitt. 
to finish his head coaching career. Israel Abanakanda had a long touchdown earlier. And he all got to watch. Watch Carter Warren. Watch Warren number 77 with a big block. And here's the tight end down the field with a pancake. The two guys who need to step up and make some plays. Tight formation. Tennessee loaded up on. On second down, Abana Kanda could not. Abana Kanda, the running back. And without their power back, but Hammond did anything deep today. Under two to go in the third quarter. Abana Kanda. Yeah. Second and two. Abana Kanda. Inside the five. Patty out of the gun. Abana Kanda found a crease. Israel Abana Kanda almost broke. I feel back and forth in motion. He was open in the flat. It's a screen for Abana Kanda. Israel Abana Kanda banged out of bounds. Watch the left guard, Marcus Miner, number 55, get out in front of this play. Gets a crushing block, and that opened up the way. Post a ranked team for the first time. And they will run it with a Banacanda. Banacanda, good cut. Strong run. Those legs churning and trying to get every yard. But I'll, I'll tell you what, just back to yard now. Banacanda looking for a little. That's a gain of 39. Banacanda in the groundwork again. Daniel Carter, the fullback, is in. It'll be a Banakanda minutes in that upset. Banakanda cutting back, spinning, and impressive yeah. in his first career game. They'll give it to a Banakanda, and he'll waltz in for a touchdown. If you're a Pitt fan, you got to be happy with that drive because you had some balance, right? You had a lot of runs, a lot of grind. Best running back. Second rushing touchdown of the year. But right now, I'm interested to see if Lou Esposito's defense can step up. You know, they're very aggressive. They bring Nate Yarnell beat us. I'm taking away the run. See if he can win this game with his arm. Second down in Texas. And a deep handoff. And there he goes again. Stripping tap. He would have been able to just be calm and cool when he was asked to pass the ball. Oh, look out. There he goes. Savannah Kanda almost steps out of what we've been calling for. We've been saying he's real close to popping one, and there it was. Zone run, everything, everything. Spath after this game, though, he's really performed well. Wow. Like two running backs out, two running backs in. <laughs> here is here is Abana Kanda. A cutback and gone. Another long scoring run. Is he Abana Kanda? This one is 67 yards. You see the offensive line just creating the lane. Number 53, Jake Cradle in the middle there. Powering it out. Marcus Miner in there as well. The ability to realize and recognize when it's when it's time to climb up and when to keep driving. But those middle three, the center and two guards, did an excellent job there. Just party. And a bandit can puts his foot in the ground. Gets north and south and it as well. It's a bad fit. A lot of room. See means in motion. They're gonna hand it to a Banacanda trying to step to the left and he'll Signetti's offense. They're gonna run to the strong side and Izzy pounds inside the high formation again. And here goes a Banacanda and Izzy's in. As you're taught as a fullback to run with your eyes. He sees the crease, he sees a little bit of cover. Second down, eight. Play fake by Slovis. He's going to throw, backdoor throw, and catch a Banacanda first down, 40. And is he up near midfield? Before? Allen, 28. And a Banacanda. So it's his own play on this one. Daniel Carter seals the backside. Next. Tied here to the right. And they're going to hand the ball to a Banacanda. And Israel abanacanda has got his third touchdown for well, the junior. It's a nice job by the right side of that offensive line, just caving everything down. Abanacanda. And, we'll and if you get over 
the, if the flow is too heavy going one way, then you just push him to the night for third and receptions behind Wayne and Mumfield coming in. And here's a fan of Candle. I mean, the, the entire play is going so hard one way that Matt, what Pat Narduzzi wanted, bringing Frank Signetti in. Here's a fan of Kanda, hesitates. Now keeps it to the strong side of the play and is going to Kanda. Is naming the game right now, Roddy. Yeah, he is. Got that collision in the hole of the offset eye. Rams look like they're bringing the pressure. Abana Kanda will push it to the strong side. I think you'll see more stuff out of shotgun and certainly more downfield passing game. And here is Abana Kanda, touchdown number four. <laughs> to each one of his offensive linemen who all deserve it today. The right side of the line, it was actually on the. One of the great moments in college basketball. Here is Abana Kanda's best run of the night. Abana Kanda to midfield, fresh set of downs for Slovis, and here's Izzy again. Lowers the shoulder, and that's Bartholomew the tight end. Snap to Slovis. They're going to handle Abana Kanda around the edge. First down for Pittsburgh. Second in the full 10. Abana Kanda on the run game one more time, and that time fights through an arm tackle. Noah Collins, and the whistles will. Sacks for this crew and Pitt. Able to throw in a, despite the pressure. And now Abanacando with a valve in the run game. Pickup of eight on first down. Abanacando fights off a couple of would-be tacklers. That's, you got you to bring your big boy pants on those, and Izzy did. Here is Abanacando bringing the pads again, and Pitt scores. Well, he took off the big boy pants, Wes, and he put on the Jets here and makes one cut. There's two Virginia Tech defenders that have angles on Israel Abanacanda. First down, Abanacanda breaking free. Is he midfield and tripped up? Who destroys this angle. Nasir Peoples has one hope, and that is to dive and pray. In motion. Abanacanda. Tough run. Here's a give. A Panacanda trying to fight left side and breaks free. Out of the stack. Touchdown. <laughs> up and block, but they turn and hand it to him. And then how about the finish of this run? He's wrapped up. You're not taking me down. The lower body strength, the balance through contact. It's stopped up. And then watch Cole Nelson, 17, come on the backside. He's hanging on to a Panacanda. He just can't take him down. Banakanda too big. First and ten of Banakanda. Got a nice block. Good career snaps. Big third down here. A Banakanda left side and down. five tackles for Hollifield. First down pit. Five minutes old into the second period. The Banakanda fires through and scores. Watch the middle of your screen. The backside guard and the center. Jake Cradle working together to secure. The back side is... Pocket, it looks like, just barely, and throws it across the line of scrimmage. And a band of Kanda on second and... Been going. Second down. Is he left side? Touchdown, Pitt. Feels like this offensive line is starting to wear down Virginia Tech on defense. Nice seal there by Tier. You know, Izzy Abanacanda had four touchdowns against Rhode Island. Get consistent pressure on Keaton Slovis either. 37 yard throw. Here's Abanacanda. Into the boundary. Abanacanda. Outside on the edge. And Connor will shove him out. And now 15 to give, but Daniel Carter throws a nice block. You get a Blake Zubovic coming around. And he gets the rock here. To the corner. Touchdown. You get a high five to score five touchdowns. Left side of that offensive line gives him 10 yards, Roddy. He's been fantastic today. Some people take shot. And here's a Banacanda breaking free. It might be a foot race to the river. And Izzy will win it. The boy.
blocking up front's fantastic. Ryan, Jacoby, Carter, Johnson, Daniel Carter. And then once this happened, if I'm even, I'm leaving, Wes. There was never a doubt who was going to win that one. Israel Abanacanda. Abanacanda has just tied the record for the most Pittsburgh. I think the, the thing that everyone in the ACC is getting used to is just how fast he is in the open field. Every single game, because of his ability to hit the home run. Bill Budd, who was a Pitt quarterback and later the head coach at Duquesne. Yeah, because Tony Dorsett did it against the Irish, I'm yeah, guessing. They are. Proud alumni moment, and guess what? Abana Carolina did it against East Carolina. It's also not done. Here goes Abana Kanda. Firing into the secondary. Cramping too, Wes. But just look at the offensive line. Marcus Miner coming around to the back. That's Jacoby in motion. And this is Abanacanda's first carry. He'll drive it across the... He joins Wayne. Too tight, set again. And here's Abanacanda trying to route to the near side. 35-30 and out of... It is real Abanacanda. Yeah, and I'm going to talk a lot about angles because look at Abanacanda and look at the angle that Monty Montgomery... Slovis slips it to Izzy, spins away from one, 30, 25, 20, Abana Kanda to the 12. Example of why if you let him get going, you're going to give up a big play. It's a well-timed screen, and because you don't get him down with the first two players there, Wes. Then Here, Abana Kanda and Carter, direct snap. Izzy trying to break free to the right side, keeps his feet and scores. Everybody end up just finishing. They, they end up pulling Marcus Miner, and look at his finish to get to the second level and it's trying to confuse the Louisville defense. Abana Kanda trying to squeeze through traffic. Slovis with time, Abana Kanda, and a great play. Well, no, he breaks away. How about that? Minkins. He's short, but this isn't a, a remarkable play. That's why I was talking about him being a complete back. He's not down. That's incredible balance. That's good run. Pitt stays in the Wildcat with Hammond. Handing to Izzy Abanacanda, who drives it. Remember, Pitt gets the ball to start the second half. and Protecting the quarterback. Played the position, all that. But that's not that's not roughing. Abanacanda clips off eight, nine, and... And the Panthers now with a Banacanda. He gets the first down. Offense sitting over there in an offensive huddle. And here is a Banacanda trying to jumpstart a hit it now, trailing four after Cunningham's second touchdown pass. And a Banacanda breaking free to midfield. Cuts it back inside the 40 to the run, but a Banacanda just keeps it front side. Just does a good job of reading it. And you know, with all the speed in the world, that's great, but you've got to see. To the field. Abanacanda again. Balls in. In the barrel with it. And here's Israel's first carry of the night. He's got the first down inside the. This is killing a play, which maybe, you know, they called two plays, have one, kill it to the second one. Field for Abanacanda. Direct snap to the left side. And he will get brought down. That's Wayne in motion. Abana Kanda will shake free and score. Pitt on the board on the game's opening possession on a six-yard run. That's Davis in motion. And Abana Kanda to the left. Grimes crashes down, tries to make. And how are you treating these guys? And I think with communication being an issue for Carolina. Goal at the Tar Heel four. Abana Kanda takes on a blocker and scores. And a flag has been thrown as he... No doubt. <laughs> this kid is, for sure. Abanacanda trying to get to the left. That will push... Third and short. Abanacanda took a lick. First and 10, Tar Heel 22. Abanacanda to the 15. The 10, touchdown. Israel Abanacanda, his third of the night. On the entire drive by Jared Wayne... Really, the entire pit offense. Five plays, 83 yards, and then you can start playing with the middle of the field safety. Here's his 18th carry of the night, and into a fray. 
to 40 was the final at Smith Center. Here's a Banacanda again from the Wildcat, and he bends it back into the near sideline and stepped out of bounds. It's been effective tonight. You know, we're going to call a Wildcat, but it's really just direct snap because there's not another back in the backfield. There's nothing being read. Well, Frank Signetti Jr.'s offense here to start the drive, and a Banacanda trying to rev the engine and gets 10. And here goes a Banacanda, first down, trying to clear that. Here's a Banacanda trying to get left now. He tries to hit the cutback and gets to midfield. And behind him is Izzy Abanacanda, and he gets the carry here. Also had 90 carries over a three-game stretch. They will hand him the rock, as you can see, and that's what he does. He moves. Abanacanda. Third Wayne in motion. The de facto tight end, the extra blocker. In on the top of your screen for the Panthers on third down. They still give it to Izzy, and he gets the first down. Inside the five, down to the goal line. Virginia team into tackling him and rallying to the ball, and then when they have to pass, look at this, just pads, low, not a lot to Double tights and a fullback, that's old school football. Izzy, met in the backfield, stretches for the goal line. And when he lands, but where is that knee? Take a look at this angle. This thing will give us a better picture. Still knee, still up, still up, elbow, still up. Oh, that falls the catch. Slovis under center, all those tight ends on the field. I had to put a smile on the face of my partner over. This pit team scored 28 points in the first quarter, and Virginia held them scoreless in that second. But that's a good start for Izzy in this Virginia off balance. Izzy again. Now he bounces it outside. Back out there on the field for Virginia. Izzy, direct snap. Power City that has a beer called Iron City. You know they want to run the football and be physical. I grew up as an Oilers fan, so I had to watch this town a little you bit. A city that has a beer called Iron City. You know they want to run the football and be physical. I grew up as an Oilers fan, so I had to watch. Be affecting him a whole lot this week. Kept him out of last week's game against Syracuse. Is he now? Look at the speed when he gets to the outside. 40, 35. Fourth down and one. Here's Izzy, crashes his way. That's that 320 yards. <laughs> oh, sir, that was his day against Virginia Tech earlier this season. Really starting to milk the clock now. Izzy. Stays on his feet. Like this, where they can just get off and tee off on him first initially, and then he's going to make one or two guys miss like he does there, and then keep. Slovis to throw. Is he out of the backfield? Has a man to beat. Beats him inside the 40. Knocked out of bounds at the 30. On the year, but he's a guy that's very dangerous with the ball in his hand. He transferred in from Akron, and we thought he's going to have a big year. And certainly with Jordan Addison's transfer to USC, that year suddenly became a lot bigger last year. They expect to win nine, ten games, and to be in the mix every year. And a big reason why they're in the mix this year is the running game with that dude right there. The pit. Pounded on the ground. Is he? He pounded on the ground. Back and Daniel Carter. And, and, and you know, look at the ability to just hug point off these direct runs. Pitch out to Izzy trying to use that speed to get to the edge. Five times and receiving once. Well, they're going to give him another shot. And that's why you give it to him a lot. Gets to the corner, picks up three. Is he again? A blocker in front of him to maul the defender. Jared Wayne, top of your screen. Because they know this is coming. Is he? But he changes direction and scores. Great touchdown run by Izzy Abanacanda. Collapsed down. Watch this right side. Once 93 turns that shoulder and the tight end comes back across. I mean, it is really needs to establish himself as that head coach, that leader, and that guy who just calms down his team. Certainly. Troy played his college ball at USC. Steeler for a long time. Pittsburgh fans kind of has two and a half games. Don't really relied on him that much. They've relied on this guy a lot. Here's why. Second level, still on his feet, inside the 40. Stays in bounds. Knocked out. Good run. Left side of this offensive line. Great job with the movement. And you see 14, Mumfield, the wide receiver, getting a key. huge gain for a Banacanda. And this is not how Alston, number 20 in the game. Izzy picks up the first. And, and so it begins, and he's got a lot of room to run. 
40, near midfield, out of bounds, marked at the... Under center, Slovis. Benicanda will race right into the end zone, touchdown. Back looking strong, another handoff for him. And getting down to the five, close to it. From the five-yard line, once again, Abanacanda bursting it, is taking advantage. They're doing what a good team should do. Abanacanda breaking free. Gets it to the running backs in the country. Went completely healthy. He'll cut that one back, headed to the end zone, touchdown. The alley that this creates. I mean, that, that right there is exactly what you're looking for as a runner, and that, in many ways, is just way too easy. If Pickett, Heisman finalist, another drop here by Slovis, but picked up, and they're going to run this one. It's going to be a Ben Akanda down the left side. Good game. I mean, look at this. The ball's on the ground, which sometimes freezes defenders, but that alley to run the foot. Ten for the Panthers, right back at it offensively. Abana Kanda with the very nice first half. He had 90 on 11 pressure. Great point. Been many months. Dumping that off to Abana Kanda. Weaving his way. Try Especially the quarterbacks, Tim. Yeah. Abana Kanda, he'll dart outside. I mean, I'm excited for that matchup. Abana Kanda over 100. He'll add to that total right now. And got in carries. And Rodney Hammond comes in to spell him.